The Dome of the Rock The Blessed Dome of the Rock was built by the Umayyad Caliph Abdul Malik ibn Marwan in the year 65 Hijri or 684 AD. Its construction began in the year 66 Hijri or 685 AD and was completed in the year 72 Hijri or 691 AD. Its construction was overseen by the two Arab engineers Raja ibn Haywa from Bisan, Palestine and Yazid ibn Salam, a servant of Abdul Malik ibn Marwan from Jerusalem, Palestine. The Dome of the Rock is considered the oldest remaining work of Islamic architecture. Al-Qibli Mosque This is the principal prayer space from which the Imam delivers the Friday sermon, and it remains the main prayer space for men inside Al-Aqsa Mosque. It is also where the principal prayer niche, Mihrab, and pulpit, Mimbar, are located. Moroccan's Mosque The Moroccan's Mosque is located in the southwest corner of the Blessed Al-Aqsa Mosque, south of the Al-Buraq Wall. The Marwani Prayer Space It was built during the Umayyad period and is composed of 16 porticos and 100 stone pillars. This prayer space is approximately 4.5 acres in size. It sits below the southeast corner of Al-Aqsa Mosque and can accommodate 4,000 worshippers. Al-Buraq Wall. This is the western wall of Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem, and it takes its name from the fact that our Prophet, peace be upon him, tied his steed Al-Buraq to this wall during the night journey, Al-Isra wal miraj This wall is considered part of the retaining walls of the mosque and is located adjacent to its gate, which is called the Moroccan's Gate. Therefore, we can see that Al-Aqsa Mosque includes the mosques, courtyards, and historical Islamic landmarks located within its compound. The area outlined in yellow in this image is collectively referred to as Al-Aqsa Mosque, which is located in the old city of Jerusalem and is 144,000 meters squared in size. There are more than 200 historical landmarks inside Al-Aqsa compound, as well as 25 freshwater cisterns. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, There will not cease to continually be a group from my Ummah who are steadfast upon Allah's commandments, who will not be harmed in any way by those who abandon or oppose them until Allah's command is executed and they will be triumphant. سَنَأْتِي إِلَيْكَ نَشُدُّ الرِّحَالُ وَيَعَالُ الْأَذَانُ أَذَانُ بِلَالُ سَنَأْتِي بِبَأْسٍ لِأَهْلِ الْخَنَا وَنَشْفِ الصُّدُورَ بِوَأْدِ الضَّلَالِ وَنَشْفِ الصُّدُورَ بِوَأْدِ الضَّلَالِ